How many applications of sound synthesis are possible for us today? Well, today we're gonna look into that and answer this question. So first of all, let's discuss analog types of synthesis and digital based models of synthesis. From the analog side, we've got subtractive synthesis, which starts with rich voltage oscillator tones that go through a sculpting pathway through some VCFs, voltage controlled filters, which gives it a nice color. And that goes through variable routes of modulation. And these usually sound the most analog Another method that is very organic in the analog world is the West Coast synthesis, aka the wave folding method, like the Buchla systems. These generate complex wave shapes that end up producing some variable harmonics that is very unpredictable and very tonal. As we start to bridge into the digital domain, we get more types of synthesis. A very complex type of synthesis is physical modeling, which simulates real life instrument styles of playing and expression in a digital domain. So basically, a right of mathematical algorithms for the expression of instruments like guitar or violin or a kalimba expression sensitive technique sensitive another type is the additive synthesis which is quite cpu heavy and is based on stacking up sine waves to create rich complex harmonic tones examples of these synthesis is the world famous hammond organs also the kawaii k500 another type of synthesis wave table a true spec of modern age basically it moves between all these complex wave forms to give you cross morphing evolving sounds and one of the most famous types of synthesis that is fm these synth use a very cool technique that is adopted from FM radio method. The technique is you got a carrier wave or an oscillator that modulates the frequency of another oscillator, giving you very rich and complex timbers. Another cool type is vector synthesis. You got an X, Y table and you can morph between two to four shapes, oscillators or sound tones or generic adjustments to the wave shape. We also have granular synthesis, which is concerned with breaking down your signal into grains and then combining them together to create crazy complex textures and nice evolving or glitchy realms of sound. And of course we're going to end with the most famous sample based synthesis which is basically capturing a wave, a digital sample of an audio and being able to apply to it variation. See you on the next one as we dive into more complex and less so matters in the world of music production.